Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink. This week is five days of no trash. And lucky for me, this week is a special edition. I have with me Lauren Singer, the guru of no trash, and I have her mason jar. Three years worth of trash right inside this jar. Please teach me your ways. Tell me how I can get started. Going zero waste isn't an overnight process. It takes time, but I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks to get started. Beginning with Monday. Take a look at your garbage and see what you're throwing away. You have to know your garbage, understand your garbage, and kind of become your garbage. Okay, five days, no trash, got it. Have I mentioned that I have two roommates and the garbage has been piling up for like five days? Here's what I found in my garbage can. Napkins, paper towels, more napkins, more paper towels, food scraps, lots of plastic bags. Today I really learned that I need to focus on reusable napkins, reusable bags, and not wasting food. That was literally a lot of shit. Day two, now that you know what you're throwing away, we can swap out some of that trash for some zero waste essentials. No trash essentials. I have a list of four that I got from Lauren. Get ready, write these down. Glass jar, hand it to the barista, have him fill up your coffee. Reusable silverware, bring that to work instead of using the plastic over and over again. Reusable napkin, everything should be reusable. Reusable tote bag, you saw how many plastic bags I had. I am genuinely ashamed. Listen, I'm not living an eco-friendly lifestyle right now. Of this, I am aware. You gotta start somewhere. Today, I'm bringing all these items with me. I'm gonna put them all in my tote bag. First stop, a morning coffee. Today was so cool. I had the barista fill up this mason jar with iced coffee. I explained to him what I was doing. We had a great conversation and I was doing good and I taught him something. Plus it felt really cool when he was like, one mason jar of coffee? I was looking around at the other customers and I was like, yeah, that's right, I saved a cup. I'm eco-friendly. Day three, middle of the week, zero waste grocery shopping. I know it sounds super scary, but I promise you can do it. All you have to do is plan ahead. Lauren taught me all about zero trash grocery shopping, and it's not as hard as it seems, but it does take a lot of preparation. Typically, I just run into the grocery store if I pass it, and I realize, oh, I'm missing something, I need it. Shopping zero waste is different. You need to bring the exact amount of containers for exactly what you want to buy. Go to a store that offers bulk products. Bring reusable bags, reusable containers. If you're going to get any wet ingredients, you need to bring a glass jar with the top. Honey, olive oil, syrup. If you want any grains, nuts, dried foods, you should get reusable bags, upcycle, and look at what I got, some real local honey. Also some cool conditioner that smells like lavender amazingness. <sighs> Amazing. You've gone three days without making any trash. You deserve a drink. And yeah, people that live zero waste still like to have fun. My biggest fear in going to get my drink was telling the bartender how to prepare it. I don't want to tell someone how to do their job, but instead, I had an awesome conversation with the bartender. I told her what I was doing this week, she was intrigued, and I ordered this blue drink, and I said, please don't bring me any trash that comes inside of this. No straw, no napkin, no coaster. The way it normally comes is full of trash. There's a glow stick in there, monkeys hanging off the side, there's a straw with all this confetti popping out like a fountain. Every week when I do these five day challenges, I learn something. This week what I'm learning is that we're all moving so quickly and we're just throwing away so much trash. I think we just have to all freeze for a moment and acknowledge the waste that we as individuals are putting out there into the world. I think if we all just slow down half a step and take that sword out of our drinks, everything will be a lot better. Lucy, you've made it. Five days and no trash. Now you have all of the tips and tricks you need to go out and live your life, kid, with a little less trash. It's Friday, and this week I have produced zero trash. I have left no paper trail. Try and catch me if you can. You won't be able to. I know I'm not gonna change the world by asking my bartender to bring my drink with no umbrella and no sword. But listen, you gotta start somewhere. I've started right now. I bought this shirt secondhand. Lauren told me she bought all of her clothes secondhand, so I copied her. And as a wise, no trash guru once told me, be your trash, love your trash, Eat your trash. She, she didn't say eat your trash, but, but if it's still good, eat it. I'm Lucy Fink. And I'm Lauren Singer. And we both think that you should subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube and join us next week for Try Living with Lucy because I'm gonna try something crazy that has to do with sleeping. You need a long nap. Maybe you deserve, not you need. <laughs> you need a nap. Am I cranky? Go to bed. <laughs>